Main man, main man here. Y'all know how I get down. We talking boxing, man. So Terrence Bud Crawford wins ESPN's 2017 Fighter of the Year. Congratulations to Terrence Bud Crawford. Now Terrence Crawford had already won this award back in 2014 when he defeated Ricky Burns. So this is the second time he won it. And hands down, it was definitely going to be Terrence Crawford's award because, you know, there was talks about maybe Vasil Lomachenko can win it. But given that Vasil Lomachenko is not even accepting the victory over Guillermo Regan Dial the same way his fan base is, he understands the dynamic of that fight and how it went down. This is what you got to respect about the actual fighter, the actual warrior, other than his lunchbox fan base. He know he'd be the smaller fighter. And so, and he's even said himself, turns Bud Crawford is the best fighter in the world. He's even given that accolade himself. So, what Terrence Crawford did this year in boxing is leaps and bounds above what anybody has done in boxing. The man is the only undisputed champion in boxing. Joe, ain't nobody ain't in boxing can top that. Gennady Golovkin came close if he would have fought Billy Joe Saunders, but it ain't happened. Instead, we got a monster fight with Canelo. But ain't nobody else did it. And ain't nobody else done it recently. Last people that done it, what, Jermaine Taylor and Bernard Hopkins when they had all them titles. But shit, Terrence Crawford proving why He's the number one pound for pound fighter in the world. And truth be told, this ESPN award, let me explain something, man. Like ESPN is the gold standard to me in sports. But when it comes to boxing, they don't get it right. Meaning that they come around and put Vasil Lomachenko as their number one pound for pound fighter. This is their thinking. And then turn around and get fighter of the year. Take in mind they made him this this year. Then they get fighter of the year to Terrence Crawford. How stupid does that sound? How could you make a fighter number one pound for pound and then turn around and give another fighter fighter of the year? <laughs> right? And truth be told, us boxing diehards, we know what's going on with the situation. Like... Top rank just got down with ESPN. ESPN giving all these accolades to the number one and number two fighters in Crawford and Lomachenko. And on top of all of that, my man turns Crawford, basically like he told one of the reporters, he didn't want it already. He knew he was going to win this award because like he, like he told the dude, like who else this year did anything close to what he's done in boxing? Vasil Lomachenko, you want to talk about his opposition. It wasn't, you can't say who he fought this year. And Jason Sosa, Mariaga, and the small but top, you know, notch fighter in Guillermo Regan Dial. But he was a much smaller, two weight classes smaller. Who else, what else, who else did he do? With tops becoming undisputed. Me taking everything I got, putting it on the line with another man, with all the titles he got, and we making it happen. Instead of stalling, went straight at it the second that he won it. Soon as Julius, hats off to Julius and Dongo. The second he won that title, them two titles, he went straight into a fight with Terrence Crawford. He got stopped. Maybe he should have been a little too premature for him, but hey, this is what I love about boxing. I'm not going to criticize that. That was beautiful. And ain't nothing that Vasil Lomachenko done this year in boxing can top that, period. But ESPN want to grant him number one pound for pound. And that just shoots their damn credibility. Got to admit, folks. But Terrence Crawford knew he was going to win this award, man. He knew when he made that statement. I mean, how, look, it's in the bag, Joe. He done won this joint in 2014 when he beat Ricky Burns, went over the island and beat Ricky Burns. Come back and win it again in 2017, man. He might win it again in 2018. Who knows? Stop playing with Terrence Crawford out here, man. And Vasil Lomachenko, he had a decent seat, a decent year this year, no question. But the, the victory over Guillermo Regan Dial, I don't really put it in super high regard. That's just me. Y'all know how I feel about that. 
I mean, but a fight of two weight classes below, I never said that Lomachenko wasn't a, a super skilled, super talented fighter. I've always said he was. And fighting a fighter that's two weight classes below without trying to meet him halfway, not even leaving your weight class. Nah, man, you don't get no, you don't get no major accolades for that at all. So truth be told, what Gennady Golovkin did this year in fighting Daniel Jacobs. And 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 though he didn't beat Canelo Alvarez, he fought him in a real tough fight. And man ain't take a step backwards. Fought him to a draw. With the scorecards, man, we know the funny business with the scorecards in that fight. So, you know, it, it was crazy. But the fact is, with his victory over Jacobs, who was at the time clearly seen before Canelo came officially back down to 160 as the number two guy, the, the, the best guy to challenge Gennady Golovkin in that division. So, what he did it by beating Daniel Jacobs, however you may feel about that fight, whether you feel like Joe Jacobs won or lost, he beat him. Got it on record. So, hey, if you're going to grant him that, and then what he did with Canelo, then turn around, man, come on, man. Lomachenko, man, look, Jason Sosa and Mar Mariaga, man, no way, man. No way, no how. So Terrence Crawford didn't done leaps and bounds above all that. He didn't done history making. We're going to be talking about this in two, three years, four years from now. So ESPN looked real stupid with this, man, making Lomachenko number I just, I I can't get over that. And then turn around and give this to Crawford. I know Crawford like, man, all right, man, let me get my award. I'm out of here, man. Send a check. ESPN putting them fights out, man. We're going to see how Crawford moves at welterweight, man. I mean, like I said, it's the second time him winning this. Then on top of that, what went down, how Teddy Atlas, how he was praising Vasil Lomachenko. Like, man, they had to remove the dude from the... Man, ESPN, when it comes to the e boxing, you know, I don't want to just go at ESPN like that, but they need to hire better talent, man. Like, they need to hire better people, man. They... if. They, they need to really do, they just need to hire better people more knowledgeable people about the sport of boxing in my opinion because it ain't working whoever making the decisions like this to make Lomachenko number one Terrence Crawford fighter of the year like that don't make sense to me especially when you made turn, uh, uh, Lomachenko number one as recent as you just done so come on man and he was more active so if you feel like he's number one pound for pound off his opposition you should have gave him that too you couldn't justify it because everybody knows that Terrence Crawford is number one pound for pound. And on top of that, he is fighter of the year, period, point blank. Even with Earl Spence, went over to Kell Brook's backyard, beat my main man, Kell Brook. That was huge. Come back the next day eating chocolate brownies on Twitter. You know what I'm saying? Like, what the hell? So, no, man. I mean, Vasil Lomachenko, everybody all caught up in the moment about the Regan Diaw fight. And I don't take nothing away from Vasil Lomachenko. Super talented fighter. Super talented. Dynamic fighter. But he has ways to go. Beating us. What he did to Gary Russell and with Nicholas Walters, to me, just. I'm ready. But he still has other champions. He needs to be unified. It's so much to do, man, to say before people put them at number one pound for pound with so little fights, in my opinion. But whatever. So to the next video, heads off and congratulations to Terrence Bud Crawford for winning this ESPN Fighter of the Year award. This is this channel's number one pound for pound fighter currently and my fighter of the year also. So to the next video, peace out.